Hello, everybody. Welcome to chapter two of a conversation between Mark Cowan, the CEO of Put It Forward, and myself, Jim Maloney. Today, we are going to discuss data wrangling. Mark, how are you today? I'm doing great, Jim. Uh, nice to be here. Looking forward to the conversation. Excellent. Let's jump right in. Indeed. First, first of all, we talk about the problem. Why wrangle data? Why does it take so long? And how can you ensure quality and any other insights you have from this whole munging problem that enterprises have today? You know, the context is people need to make better decisions faster based on, on data, right? In any enterprise. And the, or the pre step to all of that is essentially having access to the data and having it and normalized and put in a form that, you know, your decision systems can actually utilize. And so the data wrangling, data munching function is essentially being able to access that information, get it together, normalize it, get it, you know, up to a standard that could be used as part of the decision process and then, you know, pushed forward. And that's essentially it. People talk about the 80% problem, and that is it takes the typical enterprise 80% of their time to pull the data together, and the typical data scientist spends the other 20% of their time complaining why they don't have the data, the proper data. Right. Can you talk about your real-world experience in this area and how Put It Forward can help? You know, that statistic I can validate a number of times over, but uh, it is some. there is definitely uh, some truth to that. Um, you know, the reality, though, is, as mentioned earlier, we live in a very uncertain world right now where it's dynamic, even on a good day. And in order to make a data-driven decision, you essentially have to have access to the quality information or the quality data, the underlying systems that you need to have um, as part of that process. And so what the data wrangling scenario does is help aggregate all that together and clean that so you can make those best in, you know, best in moment, best in time you know, types of decisions that you're trying to make. Let's talk uh, briefly about the process. Can you outline for us very quickly what process you would follow to put a data wrangling capability in place within the enterprise? Sure, absolutely. You know, the, the process is um, certainly scalable and something that can be industrialized, meaning that whether you do it once or you do it 500 times a day, um, you know, the, the, the process is largely the same as it scales up. And the first is, of course, being able to quickly access the systems of record or the data sources that you are trying to get access to. Um, number two is being able to extract that information out of that. And then, of course, being able to you know, normalize that or, you know, get it centralized into a repository so that you can, you know, standardize it and make it useful for you know, the, the downstream consuming systems or the decision-based processes that you're trying to drive. And then of course, being able to publish and syndicate that data out to them. And be, the, the whole net of that though, is being able to do that very quickly, being able to do that iteratively and do that without heavy duty technology resources being involved in that process. But allowing technology, of course, or the governance part of the organization to still have providence over who, what, when, where, how is access maintained? And of course, the chain of custody over that data as well. So for the result, the end game, I like to refer to as ANS, access, normalize, and syndicate data to support decision-making. Talk more about your real-world experience as to why that is so important today as compared to maybe three years ago. Uh, you know, actually, I really like that anagram of, um, of ANS and uh, may use that sometime. The, the scenario here, in sorry, in terms of the results that you, you generally uh, create from this is that you're trying to drive decisions faster um, and you're trying to drive quality decisions faster and you're also trying to do that at scale, therefore also pushing it further out into the decision points inside of the organization. Um, and the only way that happens is if you are dealing kind of a bit with uh, the, the design principle of centralizing that data, but also the reality of having a, a decentralized decision support organized, driven organization as well. So the, the key takeaways that I get from a brief conversation is for a decision to be made, data needs to be centralized. Teams shouldn't be overwhelmed, that whole 80% problem we touched on earlier. And of course, the technology needs to be a simple solution, one platform to solve it all. Are there any items here you want to double click into in terms of takeaways? Honestly, each one of those we could spend, uh, you know, have a deeper conversation on. Um, I think, though, from a design principle or process perspective, they're largely the same and universal across any organization, you know, that you're likely to spend time in or, or having to deal with this issue. Um, you know, first is 
uh, understand that the decision you're making is largely going to be contextual based and the decision you're, you're designing to solve for today is not going to be the decision you need to solve for tomorrow. So therefore, if you're laying in um, you know, heavy infrastructure around this, um, you're likely going to be running into difficulty in the future, not being able to support, support the decisions you need to make and therefore you know, running back to spreadsheets and doing things manually, et cetera, et cetera. So think about things that are dynamic, flexible, um, how do you democratize, you know, the organization to be able to get access to the information, but also how do you um, enable them to be able to make decisions with the data that um, they're going to have available to them at the end? Very good. Well, thank you for your time today, Mark. That's a wrap for now. And uh, we will launch chapter three about CDPs in short order. Have a great day. All right. My pleasure. Thank you for your time. Bye now.